church should call it glory. We call it today to meet with Jesus. He says he inhabits the praises of our lips. This is how we usher him in in the home of the devil. Huh? Amen. 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 He has a word for us. When we come, we should be all ears. Whatever's going on in your life, you came to lift it up yes. to Jesus, didn't you? When I come, I don't know whatever's going on in the week, I'm coming, Lord, to give it to you. Yes. I've been praying all week about it. So now I'm coming to lift it up corporately. Yes. We pray all on one accord. Amen. Amen. So we're going to go to the meat of the word. The book of Romans, 14th chapter. Amen. And this is the Apostle Paul, and he's speaking to these Romans, the church that he's been in. He's letting them know because they got a whole lot of dissension going on. Everybody's judging one another. They're getting hung up on hang-ups. You know, Jesus never got hung up on hang-ups. He never gagged at a gnat and swallowed a camel. Amen. Amen. Yes. So we want to understand what... Paul is saying to these Romans and he said because they're talking about meat that's been offered up to idols. They're talking about whether or not they should eat it. Because one says it's defiled because it's been offered up to idols. But one who is mature in the faith understands that an idol is nothing. Don't mean nothing. Amen. You take that steak and down it real good. Amen. Amen. So he says uh, I'm going to go to verse 1. Because he's, talk, he's talking about weak and strong believers. Okay? Mature and immature believers. That's what he's saying. He said, Him that is weak in the faith, receive ye. But not to doubtful dispensation. He said, receive them, but don't, don't doubt. Don't, don't cause dissension among yourself. He said, understand where they're coming from. They just don't know. No. For one believeth that he may eat all things. Another who is weak eateth herbs. Let not him that eateth despise him that eateth not. Mm -hmm. And let not him that which eateth not judge him that eateth. Mm -hmm. But God hath received him. Yes. Mm -hmm. Then he says, Who art thou that judges another man's servant? Mm -hmm. To his own master he standeth or falleth. Yea, ye he shall be holding up. For God is able to make him stand. Mm -hmm. Amen. Mm -hmm. Then he said, Give me a battle. Then he said, <laughs> he didn't say give me a battle. He, <laughs> he said, <laughs> one man esteemeth another, one day above another, another esteemeth every day of life. He said, let, man, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Yeah. He that judges regardless the day regardeth it unto the Lord. Yeah. Amen. Okay. Amen. <laughs> like I said, the devil is a lie. Amen. 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 We, we got as much time as we want. Come on now, man. Amen. 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 Test. He said <clears throat> in verse 6, He that regarded the day, regarded it unto the Lord. Mm -hmm. And he that regarded not the day to the Lord, he regarded it not to the Lord. He eateth, not, okay. He that eateth, eateth to the Lord, for he giveth God thanks. Mm -hmm. And he that eateth not to the Lord, he eateth not. And give it God thanks. Amen. Amen. Seven. For none of us live unto our himself. And no man dies to himself. For whether we live, we live unto the Lord. And whether we die, we die unto the Lord. Whether we live, wherefore, or die, we are the Lord. Amen. Verse 9. For to 
This end, Christ both died and rose and revived, that he might be Lord both of the dead and the living. But why dost thou judge thy brother? Or why dost thou set at naught thy brother? For we shall all stand before the judgment seat of Christ. For it is written, as I live, says the Lord, every knee shall bow to me and every tongue shall confess to God. So then every one of us shall give account of himself to God. Let us not therefore judge one another anymore. But judge this rather, that no man put a stumbling block or an occasion to fall in his brother's way. Mm. I love how Jesus always just cut to the quick, Amen. to the chase. He said, I tell you what, you can believe what you want to believe. Let everybody else believe what they want to believe. He said, let them people be fully persuaded in their own mind. Don't try to... Make them do it. Because if anybody does anything that's a sin to them, then it's a sin. Amen. 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 So I want to use for a thought today. You know, I'm, I'm, I, you know, I have to deal with this because God put it on my heart. And, you know, people are deceived. But it's uh, <laughs> the case for Christmas. Amen. I read all of that mm. to talk about the case for Christmas. Amen. You may take a seat. Praise the Lord. You know, we always have our own opinions about things. Is that right? Yes. Uh, I was asked the other day by a professed Christian that should Christians celebrate Christmas? How many of you know that Satan has put out all our war out on Christmas? And just as he did for Christ. That's why Lee Strobel wrote the case for Christ. Amen. Amen. And there's many cultures and churches today, religions, amen, that do not celebrate Christmas. That's right. And that's fine. See? But what they're trying to do is force or make other people understand their point and tell them not to celebrate Christmas. Amen. So this is the case for Christmas. We need to look at it. Amen. We need to look at it. So there's cultures like... Uh, and religions like Islam, Hinduism, Buddhism, Judaism, they don't recognize Christmas or Easter. Quakers don't recognize Christmas. Jehovah's Witnesses do not celebrate birthdays at all, and that includes the birth of Jesus. So they do not recognize Christmas. Amen. But interesting enough, Jehovah's Witnesses at one time did recognize Christmas. I don't know if you knew that. Amen. Jehovah's Witnesses used to observe Christmas until 1928 after further study by one of the officials. And the official findings led to the church, uh, led the church to drop celebrating Christmas. Amen. Amen. The official said that it is based on false religious beliefs or activities. Seven-day Adventists mm, do not celebrate Christmas. The only period in time that Venice celebrates the Holy Sabbath, which they do not keep the Sabbath. They think they do, but they do not. Not according to the law of God. Amen. Because you could do nothing on the Sabbath. Amen. You couldn't even get up and wash your face. Amen. So from Friday sunset to Saturday sunset, they say that they celebrate the Sabbath. Amen. Some may celebrate Christmas, but if they do, they have to keep, uh, they're expected to not get into the gift buying and the spending, you know, how man has capitalized and commercialized Christmas. Mm -hmm. And that's what not what Christmas is about anyway. Amen. None of you should be sad that you can't buy gifts or going into debt mm -hmm. on Christmas. Right. Amen. Jesus never intended, had never had nothing to do, that's man, that's the devil. Once again, he's a perverter of truth. That's what he does. But this message is, 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 is to inspire you and educate you and, 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 and offer hope. Because there's people out there who are confused because they're listening to people and they don't know what to do. Amen. Okay. And this is to challenge some of your attitudes and beliefs. Amen. So the debate about whether Christians should celebrate Christmas or not is it's been going on forever. Raise your hand if you ever had somebody tell you you shouldn't be celebrating Christmas. 
No, I'm almost everybody in here. <laughs> Amen. Amen. It's been raging for centuries, that debate. And I believe there is well-meaning Christians on both sides of the debate. Mm -hmm. I believe everyone has their reasons and opinions for believing the way they do. Amen. Uh, I don't think anybody is facetiously except the devil doing it. Amen. But listen, what does the Bible say? See, we got to stick with the script. No matter what people's opinions are, what they think, we got to, what does God say about it? Amen. And that's fine, because everybody got an opinion. But what does God say? Does the Bible give us clear instructions on whether or not that we should celebrate the Christmas holiday as born-again believers, because everybody says they're Christian. There's going to be so many Christians go to hell that it's, it's going to, it ain't going to be fun. Amen. Amen. Profess Christians. Amen. Amen. Because people have come up with their own standard of what a Christian is. And that's because they don't have no clue what a Christian really is. Amen. 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 If you don't know, all you can do is assume. Amen. Amen. If you assume too long, you're going to assume right into judgment. And you're going to hear that conversation from Jesus. Amen. Depart from me. You work of iniquity. I never knew you. Amen. You have never been born again. You have never been saved. We never had a relationship. I know you thought you did. Amen. But you're not going to heaven because you say so. Amen. Jesus says it's going to be if I say so. Amen. Amen. So first let's look at the reasons why some Christians don't celebrate. So one argument against Christmas is that the tradition surrounding the holiday have pagan origins. Amen. And we know that to be the truth. Because yes. we can all agree that we know we don't know the birth of Jesus, Amen. but we know he wasn't born in December. Amen. Not December 25th. Right. And that reason you couldn't hardly move it was so cold. Amen. Amen. And that's okay. That's okay. But they say it has pagan origins. And we, and we know that to be true. Amen. So, uh, that in itself has always been the enemy's plan. Amen. The working of Satan. Amen. He has always mixed the sacred with the profane. Amen. He's done it from the beginning. That's what he's always going to do. He's a perverter of truth. He is the author of confusion. So that's what he does. People don't know whether now we know that right is wrong. And wrong is right. Mm -hmm. And if you want to do what's right, they say you're wrong. You're crazy. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Mm -hmm. But because he's out of confusion, yeah. amen, so says the Bible. Amen. That's why so many people are confused. Mm -hmm. Amen. About the gospel of Jesus Christ. Amen. amen. So St. John 8 and 44. Jesus rebuked the religious leaders. Amen. He was trying to tell them who he was. He told them, if you know the truth, the truth will set you free. And if the Son sets you free, you'll be free indeed. Uh -huh. Amen. 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 But they began to tell him that he was not the Son of God. He, they told him that he said, we know who our Father is. Mm -hmm. In other words, you was born by some man nobody even know. Because they don't believe he was the Son of God. And Jesus told him, ye are of your father, the devil. Mm -hmm. And the lust of your father, you will do. Mm -hmm. He was a murderer from the beginning and, and abode not in the truth, because there is no truth in him. Mm -hmm. When he speak a lie, he speaketh of his own. Talking about them. Mm -hmm. For he is a liar and the father of lies. Today, there's all kinds of award shows. You probably enjoy them, you know, BET Awards, and Emmys, and Oscars, and they, you know, the devil the Grammys, everything. You know, you hear, yeah, yeah. And on television. <laughs> they all on television. That's what television is. They tell you a whole bunch of lies, and they program your mind. So we look at all of them where the pagan rituals are being performed openly. Mm -hmm. Amen. But you don't know it. Amen. That's what they do. Amen. In plain sight, God is mocked openly. 
but you don't know it. Mm. You don't have any spiritual discernment. You're just looking at it for entertainment. Mm -hmm. So you're just being detained so they can enter you. Ooh. That's what entertainment means. Mm -hmm. That's why everybody wants to be entertained. Mm -hmm. But you don't understand you're being detained mm -hmm. for entry. Uh -oh. Come on, Amen. Yeah. So while the Bible says you need to watch what you listen to, yeah. what the eyes of the window of the soul, what you watching, mm -hmm. See, we, but see, we're gullible. That's why the Bible depicts us as sheep. That's why Jesus said we like sheep without a shepherd. Mm -hmm. A sheep without a shepherd is doomed. Amen. Yes, why? Because a sheep yes, can't do nothing. A sheep Amen. is a dumb yep. All you can do is follow the leader. Oh, yeah. But if he don't have one, he'll follow anybody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. But we call them superstars and American idols. Oh, and they are clearly living demonic, oh. ungodly, pagan lives. We see it. They always display half-naked women. Have you ever seen an award show without half-naked women? Uh, ever? No. And you never will. <laughs> Amen. Even the ones who profess to be Christian. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And the first thing they do when they get the mic and get on stage and get the approval of the world, see, that's a world's award. Amen, amen. They thank their God. You hear what I say? They thank their God. But everybody's saying, oh, they thank God. They not thanking the God of the Bible because the God of the Bible has nothing to do with that. He does not mix the sacred with the profane. That is the prince of this world. Amen. Yes, the origin of Christianity did stem from both pagan and Roman cultures. Mm -hmm. The Romans actually celebrated the two holidays on December. I'm going to tell you, I'm going to educate you today. The first was Saturnia. No. Amen. Saturnalia, which is the two-week festival honoring the god of agriculture, Saturn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Amen. On December 25th, they celebrated the birth of Martha. The sun god. Mm. Both celebrations were pagan, drunken parties, orgies. Amen. <laughs> and that's why some people say you shouldn't be celebrating Christmas. Amen. Amen. As Christianity spread across Europe, though, the Christians, clergy, were not able to curb this pagan custom and celebration since no one knew the date that Christ was born. Amen. Nobody knows the day Christ was born. Amen. 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 So they couldn't curb it. They adapted the pagan ritual into the celebration of his birth. Mm -hmm. But all they adapted was the date. Oh, come on. Amen. Another argument against Christmas, especially, especially having a Christmas tree, is in the Bible forbids bringing trees into your home. And decorating them, the passage often cited is Jeremiah 10 and 1. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It says, Hear ye the word which the Lord speaketh unto you, O house of Israel. Thus says the Lord, Learn not, lean not, learn not. Mm -hmm. Learn not the way of the heathen. He said, Don't do what they do. And be not dismayed the signs of heaven, at the signs of heaven. For the heathen are dismayed at them. For the custom of the people are vain. For one cutteth a tree out of the forest and worked the, of the hands of the workmen with an axe. They deck it with silver and gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree but speak not. <laughs> they must needs be born. They, he said they ain't about nothing. They ain't have no soul. They're not born. Because they cannot go. They can't do nothing. Amen. Be not afraid of them, for they can not do evil. Neither also is it in them to do good. Amen. Now this passage, take it out of context. You might say, well, I can't put a tree in my house. Amen. But that's not what the passage is talking about. Amen. 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 But the passage refers to cutting down trees, okay, and chiseling it uh -huh. into an idol, yeah. mm -hmm. putting silver and gold on it, 
for the purpose of worship. Amen. Okay? So now if you got a tree in your house with lights and bling and a lot of pretty stuff, an angel on top and all that, are you, do you put it in there to worship it? No. Are you going home every day and falling down before it and no. worshiping the tree God? No. Okay, then this passage does not refer to you. Amen. 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 So that's it. See, you got to know how to rightly divide the word of truth. Amen. But the enemy knows what he's doing. Amen. 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 Yep, Christmas trees. Now, as part of the pagan ritual, as part of the, the solstice celebration, okay, the pagan cultures decorated their homes with greens and anticipation in anticipation of spring to come. Evergreen trees remain green during the coldest days of the winter months. So they were putting, but so they were thought to hold special powers. You know when you put that Christmas tree in there, it's gonna dry out. Oh yeah. And you better get it out before it causes a fire burning out. Amen. We know they ain't got no special powers. Amen. So you have to pick it up and get it up out of there. It ain't going to go by itself. Amen. Amen. The Romans also decorated their temples with fir trees during uh, Saturnalia. Okay. When they worshiped Saturn, the agricultural god. Amen. De you know, and they decorated them with bits of metal. And, and there was even records of Greek, Greeks decorating trees in honor of their gods. Amen. Amen. Interestingly, the first trees brought into pagan homes were hung from the ceiling upside down. They were hung from the ceiling upside down. So while we accept these cultures and, you know, as we've been doing this traditionally, you know, it's really the purpose of what you are doing. Why are you doing it? Are you doing it to worship an idol god, a false god? Are you dealing with these pagan rituals? Because I'm going to get into it with, with the real reason of the season either. Amen. 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 The tree tradition we are accustomed to today comes from North, Northern Europe, where Germans, amen, pagan tribes decorated green trees in worship of God, in the wooden God, amen, with candles and dried fruit. The tradition was incorporated into Christian faith in Germany during the 1500s. They decorated trees in their homes with sweets, lights, and toys. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. And Santa, Santa Claus is a whole different message. Mm -hmm. Come on. But there's a history behind that too. Amen. Amen. But bells and candles and holly. You know, you hear the song, the youth tie carols and all. <laughs> Amen. Those decorations were part of the history of pagan worship. But to use a tree in one's home now, Certainly, it's not an indication that you're going back into paganism. Is that right? Amen. I mean, we put the trees in the church and decorate the church and everything. Amen. Somebody say, but God. But God. But God. But God. See, Satan's MO, Satan's method of operation is to pervert the things of God to prevent us from worshiping God. Mm -hmm. Amen. Amen. As God. That's why the Bible declared in 2 Timothy 2 and 15 that we need to do what? You need to study. To show yourself approved unto who? A workman that need not be made ashamed that can rightly divide the word of truth. Amen. But then he says something in 16. He said, but shun profane and vain babblings, for they will increase unto more ungodly. He said, don't get caught up. Don't get hung up on hangups. Don't major on minor things and minor on major things. Amen. You see what I'm saying? The things that matter, that's what you need to deal with. Amen. You can buy your child a toy. Uh, my wife and I don't, don't buy gifts. We, don't, we stopped doing that 28 years ago. Because we, know, we just know that that's not what Christmas is about. Amen. It's about the birth of Jesus. So that's what we celebrate. I tell people all the time, if you want to get a gift, get it for Jesus. Amen. What are you getting him? It's his birthday. Amen. Amen. That's why James 1, he said in verse 5, if any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God, then give it to all men liberally and break it not, and he'll give it to him. He said, but let him ask in faith, 
Amen. Nothing wavering. For he that wavers like a wave of the sea, driven with the wind and tossed. For let not that man think he going to receive nothing Amen. from the Lord. Amen. A double-minded man is unstable in all his ways. So you don't have to not get a tree. You don't have to not buy a gift. Just understand that Jesus is the reason for the season. Amen. Amen. So while there are definitely pagan roots and some pagan traditions, there are many more traditions associated with the true meaning of Christmas. Amen. The birth of the Savior of the world in Bethlehem, bells are played to ring out the joyous news. Candles are lit to remind us of Christ as the light of the world. Amen. 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 A star is placed on the top of the Christmas tree to remember the star of Bethlehem. Amen. Amen. That's why you do it. That's why we do it. Amen. Amen. And the gifts are exchanged to remind us of the gift of the Magi to Jesus. Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Amen. 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 The greatest gift of God to mankind. It was all about Jesus, people of God. Amen. So, so when ignorant people, and I say ignorant because it only means to be unlearned. Amen. Remember we talked about weak, strong and weak Christians. That's all it means. Amen. Is they don't know any better. Whenever those people come to you, okay, and ask you why you celebrate Christian and Christmas, that you're a Christian, you should not be celebrating Christmas. Or they tell you, as a believer, why are you doing it? You you worshiping idol gods when you celebrate Christ's birthday. Amen. Amen. I want you to share just two two scriptures with me. I'm getting ready to close. Amen. Just two. See, because when Jesus came, he came to free us from sin. Amen. 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 So, I want you to share these two. The first one is Romans 14. The one we're reading right now. Amen. He said, don't let nobody judge you. In anything you put on, eat or anything else. Amen. Amen. He said, let every man be fully persuaded in his own mind. Amen. God said he received the person who eat the meat, offered up the idols, mm -hmm. just like you receive the one who don't. Mm -hmm. He said, but I'm God, not you. Amen. He said, I'm not going to hold that against them. I'm not going to send them to hell because they ate some meat mm -hmm. that was offered up to the idol just because they know there's no power in it. Amen. Amen. They ate it because they was hungry. Amen. Amen. They ate it for nourishment to get full. Yeah. They didn't think about no idol because they ain't no idol nothing. But for us, Paul said, if eating me, offends my brother. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Amen. And the other, one of the other scriptures is Colossians 2 and 16. Amen. He said, let no man therefore judge you in meat or drink, or in respect of a holy day. See, we don't know when Christ was born. But does that mean we don't celebrate his birth? No. no. Well, December the 25th has been working for me for, yeah. for 64 years. Yeah. Amen. I don't think I need to pick another date because somebody says that that's the wrong day. I don't know. Jesus has been blessing me. I I'm going to yes, keep on Amen. praising Amen. on this. Yeah. 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 People got all kind of hangups, you know. They say you shouldn't do a whole lot of things. Amen. 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 But he said, don't let nobody judge you even in a holy day. No. Or of a new moon. <coughs> or of the Sabbath day. Mm -hmm. You know, the seventh day Adventists said, we're all going to hell. Mm -hmm. They say because we have worship service on Sunday. Oh. They believe that. Amen. That's okay. Because God said, when you worship on Sunday, I'll receive you. Amen. You worship on Saturday, I'll receive you. Amen. If you worship on Monday and Tuesday, I'll receive you. Amen. Yeah. When it don't matter. Right. Right? right? He said, every man, one man seen one day higher than another. Mm -hmm. But another one seen a theme every day of life. Amen. He said, that's the day is not the problem. Mm -hmm. The day is not your issue. Yes. Amen. Amen. He told us, remember, that Christ, God sent his son. Yes. Born of a verse. Yes. Wrapped yes. in a manger. Yes. To save his people from their sins. Amen. So he, 
So the devil don't want us to celebrate that. Mm. He wants to get away from that. Mm. Yeah. Right. So he going to pervert the Christmas. Yeah. Amen. He got all out war on Christmas. Oh. In verse 17, he says, which are a shadow of things to come. But the body is of Christ. He says, so don't get caught up in that shadow. Because the shadow can't do nothing. Amen. It's all about Christ. Let no man beguile you of your reward and a voluntary humility and worshiping of angels. Amen. Intruding into those things which the he has not seen. Hmm. He's vainly puffed up by his fleshly mind. Hmm. Said, and not beholding. You see that? Mm -hmm. The head, which is Christ. Oh. From which all the body by, by joints and bands have uh, having nourishment ministered and knit together increases with the increase of God. Amen. So he says that as you increase in knowledge, the knowledge of God, mm -hmm. in grace, mm -hmm. the grace of God, mm -hmm. in understanding, yeah. in wisdom, he said all of these trivial things that people bring up will not hinder you. Because mm -hmm. our text tells us whatever we're going to judge, make sure we judge this, that we don't put a stumbling block mm -hmm. yes. or an occasion of fall. Uh -huh. In front of our brother, he said, "Don't don't plant that seed in their mind. Because what you doing is put a stumbling block there. Why? Because they're trying to worship me. I don't care what day it is. Amen. They're trying to worship me. Amen. 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 And, and 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 remember and commemorate my birth. And you talking about something that happened over four thousand years ago. The Romans and and everybody was doing. But as long as you're not doing that." Amen? Then you worship Christmas. Amen. Amen. You Amen. celebrate Christmas. Yes. Amen. Amen. Because this is the case for oh, Christmas. Amen. 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 God bless you. Amen. Amen. We need to be able to have an answer to tell these people Amen. while we do what we do. Amen. And people who get hung up on hang-ups don't let them see the devil's job is to hang you up. Mm -hmm. And I see it all the time. I mean, well-meaning people who done got a little knowledge and now all of a sudden, you know, I've had people come here, wouldn't join the church. They asked me, they said, well, do you guys celebrate Christmas? I said, the birth of Christ? Absolutely. Oh, well, I, I can't join. You know, that's a thing. You know, we know Jesus wasn't born and they go out and say, well, praise the Lord. Amen. It was nice to meet you. Amen. Yeah, you can go. Amen. 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 We're not getting hung up on that. Amen. Amen. We know ain't no Santa Claus. The Lord, have yeah. Amen. I don't want to mess it up for you kids. But let them know that Jesus Amen. is the one that Amen. allowed you to get whatever they got. Amen. Amen. They need to know the truth and the yes. truth Amen. will set them free. Amen. 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 So with that, I'm, gonna, I'm not going to end. we got to do our communion. we got to take the, amen, the sacrament, the blood, and the body of Jesus Christ. But in, before that, I want to give everyone here and online an opportunity to accept Jesus Christ as a personal Lord and Savior and make him Lord of your life. And in Romans, the 10th chapter, verse 9, he said, if you confess with your mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in your heart, that God has risen from the dead, thou shalt be saved. <coughs> believe in your heart. Yeah. A whole lot of people got head belief, and they are headed to him. Amen. Say that again. Amen. You can believe in your head all day long. If it hasn't changed your life, you are still headed to him. Because my Bible tells me that every man, yeah. any man be in Christ, yeah. he is a new creature. Old things are passed away, behold, all things become new. Amen. And if there's nothing new about you, <laughs> well, that speaks to itself. Amen. So all you have to do is repeat unto me, Father God, I'm a sinner. I've sinned against you. I repent of my sins right now in the mighty name of Jesus. And forgive me. Lord, I believe that Jesus Christ is your son. I believe he died on the cross 
for my sins. And I believe that he was dead and buried and on the third day he raised him from the dead. I believe, Lord Jesus, Lord, that if I die believing in you and in your son Jesus, that on the last day you'll raise me from the dead. So, Father God, come into my heart. Holy Spirit, I give you control of my life. And I ask that you save my soul in Jesus' name. Jesus. According to the word of God, not Pastor Miller, if you said that simple prayer a minute in your heart, you've been born again. Amen. Find your good Bible teaching church. You can go to the Solid Rock and church.org and we'll be glad to help you in your new life in Jesus Christ. Amen. May God bless you. Is anybody here today? We're standing.